I'm an idea man. I have ideas. Most of my good guitar playing ideas come to me while I'm licking things around my house. This paper towel tube, after I got finished licking it across the floor, I came up with the idea of using it to capture farts. The problem I found out is the holes on both ends. It's just it goes right through. If you don't have ideas, you're going to end up just being a crappy guitar player. Take it from me. Here are some of the books I use. See this stack? This is less than half of my book stack for generating ideas for music. I think the music industry is actually void of ideas. Listen to the music coming out these days. It's all this, this formulaic, just synthesized, over-synthesized, quantized junk. It's weird, man. Gone are the days it seems. It seems, okay. There are always exceptions. Like was it seems are the are the days gone by. Oh boy. The days are gone. Sounds like a soap opera. Days gone by. These are the days. I can't tell you what you can do, but I can tell you stuff that's helped me a lot. And that is go check out a bookstore. A lot of music books are junk. Pure junk. So you have to sort through them and wade through them. You might have to go to different bookstores. You can look online, of course. You can use the Amazon little book preview feature for different music books. You can go to Guitar Center. Those trips usually work out well. But it takes a lot of wading through stuff. But if you don't take the time to do it, you're going to end up being a pentatonic twit. Who doesn't know the minor pentatonic bass scale form? The 1-4, 1-3, 1-3, 1-3, 1-4, 1-4. And practically to come up with ideas, I recommend writing stuff down. Writing out goals, short-term goals, long-term goals. Because that way you have somewhere to go and then you can break that down into little steps to go after it. For example, if you don't know all the modes, then you need to do something to learn it. Modes were mysterious to me for a long time. Finally ran into a good guy who was able to help teach me. Greg. Thanks, Greg. Like you're going to see this video. It doesn't come easy. You're lear learning a real instrument. You're not just generating loops on a computer and, you know, quantizing a beat over the top of it. Listen to different types of music. Don't just listen to your genre. In fact, even though I write in instrumental rock, I listen to a lot of classical music. Mainly because the stuff on the radio is dumb. Most of it's dumb. Sure, I'll listen to some, quote, classic rock stations and listen for some guitar solo parts, things like that. But most of the songs and the lyrics, yeah, that's what I think about that. Have you ever, you ever go and read the lyrics to these songs you listen to? be able to express things through an instrument, through different moods, I guess, different emotional experiences such as happy, sad, kind of strange, ethereal. Imagine all the different words you come up with for moods, for emotions. To be able to do that, it helps to have ideas. Books are a good way to come by that. Also, watching other guitar players. Watching and listening. Don't just be a pentatonic twit. You can do it.
you can not be a pentatonic twit. You just need to generate some ideas. Go look up paper towel tube across the floor. I'm getting an idea right now. I'm getting the idea. Sometimes I forget to turn off my overhead light. It'll give me raccoon eyes for my video recording. It's off now, we're good.